In this video, we're going to look at features of the family portal of My Education BC. You can navigate your web browser to www.myeducation.gov.bc.ca slash Aspen to get to a login page for MyEd. There's another video that shows you how to log in for the first time and change your password. When you first log in, it will take you to the Pages top tab by default. We'll look at a couple of the other top tabs through this video. In the Pages top tab, there is a welcome message which is currently generated by the province. There's recent activity that can be filtered to attendance or grades or both and change the dates. You'll see information about assignments, uh, absences, lates, and term marks as they're posted in this recent activity window. Below it, there's information about assignments that have been assigned by teachers in the MyEd gradebook. To the right, there are published reports, and this is where the report card will show up if published by the school to the portal. In the Family Top tab, you can see information about the different students associated to you. This is only going to be for schools that are using Portal. So if you have students at elementary schools that are not currently using Portal, you will not see them here. If you have multiple students, you can check one of them off and then see information in the side tabs about the student you have checked off. Details, so some basic demographic information, including address and the most current photo we have for the child in the system. Contacts shows the contacts associated to the child. If there are any errors or phone numbers or names need to be updated, please contact your local school. Daily attendance is a calculated piece of information that depends on class attendance. In an elementary school, class attendance is taken twice daily, and middle and secondary schools it is taken multiple times depending on the school. Transcript information. We suggest when you come in here you switch the data dictionary to all because different schools may use a different transcript definition and this will let you see all of them for the current year. If you wanted to see more than the current year you can see all records. This will show all records associated to the child while they've been part of the provincial student information system. Further down on the side tabs is a schedule side tab. You can filter this to today to see today's current classes. The red line indicates the current class. You can also switch this to see semester one, semester two, or full year. This list will be dependent on the school your child is attending. There is a requests sub side tab that will show courses that your child has requested. Course selection in School District 60 usually takes place in March and April. The Membership Side tab shows information about registration for your child over the years they've been part of the student information system. If you find any of this to be inaccurate, please contact your local school. The Transaction Side tab shows fees and payments associated to your child. Moving on to the Academics top tab, you can see assignments and attendance associated to specific classes. If you have several students, they'll be listed in this drop-down list. You can change the student to see the associated classes. There is also a filter for current year and the current term. You may not be aware of what the current term is, so the current term filter takes it to whatever it is based on the dates. If preferable, you can switch this to all terms or you can look back into the past as well. So if I were to check off accounting and go to assignments, or if I click on accounting, it'll take me right to its assignments. I can see assignments that the teacher has made public. Not all assignments are made public and that is at the discretion of the teacher. This information is to give you some feedback about how your child is doing in class. 
There is also filters here for the grade term. So if you're not familiar with which grade term you're in, it should default to the current one. You can also pick all if you wanted to see more information. In this case, there's only marks or assignments listed in, the, in quarter three. The categories will be dependent on which categories the teacher has entered into their gradebook. And you can switch back and forth or leave it at all. There's more information if you click on the assignment about the assignment itself. Um, it shows you a score as well as the teacher has an option to make a comment available to the student and parent in the family portal. And you can click on that and it pops up a window that shows you that information. The attendance for this course is listed in the attendance side tab and this will just show up in a list with the date and what the code was. And if entered, a reason may show up as well. Teachers are not required to enter reasons, but sometimes the office or the teacher will. L for late, A for absent. To go back to your classes list, there's a breadcrumb up in the top left hand corner that says classes. From here, I can pick another course and look at the assignments as well as the attendance. In this course, the assignments, some of them say ungraded, and that may be because the grades have not been entered yet. It also may be because the teacher has chosen not to share the grades for those courses at their discretion. They may change that in the future. Parents also have access to a calendar top tab and the calendar top tab is linked to the teacher's grade books and you'll be able to see different colors that are associated to a course as well as when they started and when they finish. Parents can click on this, double click on this and get some more information about that assignment. That's a short look at the family portal of My Education BC. We strongly suggest at the end of your session you log off.